Hey guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to quickly walk you through how to use Midjourney. So this guide is relevant for people who have never used Midjourney in the past and then, you know, just are getting their hands dirty or just trying to understand how Midjourney works. It's pretty straightforward. I don't think you need any technical knowledge. You don't need to type a single line of code. The experience to use the tool is not so good, which is probably why you might have not tried it until now. But I'm just going to quickly walk you through and I'm going to keep it really, really simple for you, right? So let's get started. Uh, the very first step you need to do is just come to midjourney.com. You can Google it here and it will, you know, be on top of the Google search itself. Just click on join the beta. The way you use midjourney is by using Discord. And Discord is an old school type of a chat Tool, right so if you use slack you may get acquainted with discord soon but remember this is where a lot of uh, you know people who are tech forward or people who are gamers hang out right so let's just go to discord now and understand how mid journey looks in discord and how you can start generating images in discord per se i'm going to give you a very quick overview of what discord you know ui looks like so don't worry uh i'll help you help you guys throughout the journey itself so once you click here it will pop out either in this ui if you don't have a discord discord account just go ahead and create it it's very simple it's just like any other sign up journey if you have downloaded the app it will open it in the app to create an account here so once you verify you'll be in and this is where this is how the discord ui looks like you know, new especially when you're joining in for the first time so i'm just gonna quickly uh ver verify my account and we'll start okay so my email is now verified so you can see the pop-up here is gone now you go to mid journey and you click on join the beta that does not happen and you can explore public server just type okay you can see that mid journey is at the top so either you go and explore it there or you can just do, join it from here now once you uh, join here there are two channels right so mid journey is like the main public server and then there are smaller channels inside mid journey itself so that's getting started ask question i'll just look around for now so that's what we'll do okay so you click on join mid journey you verify that you're a human again once you join you should be able to see a bunch of these groups here right i'm just trying to find a group where we can visualize all of this so these are all the images that are generated by mid journey you can browse the channel and look for a newbie right so okay Basically, how Midjourney works is you need to um, type in the prompt. I don't know if your understanding of the prompt is there yet, but effectively prompts are small line of codes that you can use in order to tell the model what to generate, right? And this is the Midjourney UI. Now, these are all public servers, right? Primarily, the, you know, the idea behind public servers is that, and the problem behind this is that a lot of the people are using it at the same time so you can see all of these images being generated these are being generated right now and people are try try typing their own uh, prompts here so i'm just gonna go to lexica and you know before i go to lexica let me just show you how this works so you just say imagine imagine is primarily you telling uh mid journey to generate an image for you so you can say Elon Musk and maybe Mahabharata, right? So it's a very open-ended prompt. You can give it uh, to Midjourney. Once you click enter, uh, okay. So you need to accept the terms and services, right? Before you move forward. So once you accept that, you can see that it's a welcome message of sorts. And then once this welcome message, you should also get a message that your image generation has started. Let's just wait for the message. If that doesn't happen, let's just try it again, right? So let's just say, okay, I think I saw the tag somewhere. Yeah, so there you go, right? Now you can see that it's generating our image. So it's tagged me, it says 0% there, and it says fast. Basically, this says that it's using a fast model and it's currently generating the image for us. Now, because this is a public image, it's often if, if it's possible that it will get lost in the crowd, but uh, you will be able to see, uh, you know, especially when it's your name, you'll be able to see this yellow outline by which you can identify if this is yours, right? Now, I think once the image 
is generated it will again come at the bottom from where uh, you can access it let's just wait for it to generate it takes a few seconds to generate right so I'm just gonna wait here uh, till the image is generated. You can see there's some progress here. Again, your goal should be to choose rooms with lower traffic. Now it's very hard to find rooms like that, but you can experiment with these rooms in order to see which room has a lower traffic. This will uh, enable you, you can see the image suddenly disappeared. What has happened is gone at the bottom. So there you go. The image is now here. Effectively what you need to do is ensure that you go in the room with the low traffic uh, primarily because the lower the traffic the better the experience right so either ways you will not always find free groups mid journey is also paid so uh, like if you need focused access you may want to buy a mid journey and access it but if, you know especially talking about free plan it gives you certain amount of credits in order to generate these images you can see the image has been generated i'm going to show you what these are right so this is upscale one upscale two upscale three upscale four and this is v1 v2 v3 v4 so what this does is that if you do this is it will regenerate the whole grid of all the images if you say u1 it will upscale the first image and give you the access to download it if you say v1 it will take the version one and regenerate the whole grid based on version one let's try all of these ones uh, I want to generate more samples using the V4, right? So it, click on V4, it will start another generation, right? So you can see there is one here, meaning we were tagged somewhere. And the fact that we were tagged somewhere would mean that the image generation, you can see the job has started. So the variations are now being created on the V4 of the image that we had clicked. You can see all of the variations are now similar to the ones that we had clicked. What we'll do next is we'll try to upscale one of this. So the image is done. You can see it's at the bottom and the image is now generated. Now, for example, I like say one of these images, right? So I like this first image. So I'm going to say upscale one. This will upscale the first image and it will generate a new image for me. So this is where the job would start. It's basically improving the quality of the image for me to download. I can then download that image and, you know, either like showcase it somewhere or just keep it for my sake or say so let's just wait for it to um, download my image or upscale my image per se just again like i said the experience itself is not best uh, and that happens primarily because this is a free plan right now which is fine i mean in order to experiment and understand you uh, this is completely fine. You should be able to play around. If you like it, then you can go ahead and take a look at the play, paid plan per se. So it's going to take some time to generate the image. I'm just going to pause it for a while. Okay, it looks like the image is now upscaled. It's right where it had added, right? So if I scroll to the bottom, uh, there you go. You can see the upscale is done. Now you can create more variations off of this upscaled image. You can light upscale redo. I mean, you can rescale, uh, upscale the image again, beta upscale redo it. Um, again, I don't understand the difference between these, but effectively these are upscaling the images. You can go to the web and download this image or you can just click here and save it from here. Uh, but this won't be upscaled image, right? In order to get the upscale image, you'll have to go to mid journey login and then download. You can go to web. Uh, that's what it does. And then you can give feedback on the generation itself. Now let's go to Lexica, which is where I find a lot of the art. Um, so I'm just going to find something that I can generate in mid journey. So all of these are by the way, generated by stable diffusion and stable diffusion, unlike mid journey is free and provides better experience, uh, because it's in your own computer and you can control how, you know, to render images. But the problem with mid journey is that a uh, so problem with stable diffusion takes a lot of computing power, which you may sometimes not have. You need a great graphic card in order to process things, right? So I'm, I'm just going to go out there and tell the model to generate this view from earth moon split in half alien ships invading and 
Suffering and of Needs. Four, four K. Yes, okay. So basically, uh, this is what the prompt is, right? And this is how prompts work, where you have to give certain details about the subjects, the characteristics of the subjects. Uh, the verbs etc etc so if you're new to prompting check out my guide on prompt engineering it will help you master how to write the best prompts for any image generation right so let's just go ahead and tell the model to generate this right okay so you can see the uh, word is banned which is fine what we can do is we can my goal was to talk about how earthlings are being Okay, let's just say invading earth and let's see what generates. By the way, all of these prompts, right? You can also go ahead and download these prompts for yourself. If you, I mean, these guys, some of these guys are playing around, right? So you can go ahead and create copies of their art and save it for your model too. And that's also possible. Again, it's nothing different, right? Just go ahead and click. Um, v4 v2 whatever you like this will help you save the prompt in your own model and this is the r prompt the prompt that we gave you can see it's generating it okay let's just wait for it you can see it's 62 percent there again the whole whole game is on how you generate or how you write prompts if you don't write prompts well you'll not be able to generate great images so it's important to know how prompts work and feel free to check out my video on prompting in order to understand how it works if you're new to generative ai feel free to check my course out on generative ai it will teach you everything you need to know uh, in this space okay you can see that it's split the moon split the earth in half okay, let's what you can do is you can play around with this you can say imagine and then remove this part and see what it generates people are just playing around with this right be careful uh, with the whole kind of prompts you write because it's tag literally tra tagging you in here so and plus it's also kind of backtracking the whole thing in the main ui so if you put something weird uh, because it's a public so you may get called out for it so just be careful with this anyways i think that's all I kind of wanted to show you in you know, especially what you need in order to get started with mid journey. I'm going to make, make more videos on and deep dives on how to kind of master mid journey in order for your art generation. So stay tuned for that You can generate more versions of this. You can say that you like maybe this version, which is one, two, three, and this is the third version. So you can see, you can say version three more variation. So you can obviously play around more if, if you want. But if I have to talk about the basics, I think that's all you need to know, especially when you're talk, you know, talking about getting started with my journey. Uh, if you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like on this video, share this across with a friend, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.